Hey everybody, today I will show you how to brew and develop in your very own Cafano, so stay tuned. So here's the thing, I'm still in Croatia because Slovenia got in a complete lockdown now during Easter holidays, which means I'm stranded here on this beautiful island. I mean, I don't mind extending my holidays for a bit, but the problem is I ran out of my developer and I would still like to make a few exposures. Obviously there is no darkroom stores around here, so that got me thinking. I got many requests lately if I could show you how to make and develop with Cafanol and this seemed like a perfect opportunity for it. My initial plan was to develop film, but since I don't have any, let's try if it works with dry plates, why not? The curse and beauty of Cafanol is that it's not just one developer, but everyone's brew will be different depending on the available ingredients used and their ratio. The first one on the list is instant coffee which should be as strong as possible and you should definitely avoid decaf. Second ingredient is washing soda. If you could only get baking soda, don't worry, I will show you a bit later on how you can transform it to washing soda. And the third ingredient is vitamin C in powder form or tablets. Then you also need a measuring cup, a teaspoon, mixing container and thermometer. And finally you need an exposed film, paper or in my case dry plate. I made a shot of a sea urchin skeleton I found while spear fishing and I thought its round shapes would work nicely with harsh and razor sharp shore rocks as a background. Before we start keep in mind that the order in which the chemicals are mixed is important. And I would also recommend you to mix the caffeinol right before development because it tends to lose its power quite quickly and it doesn't have a very long shelf life. There are many caffeinol recipes out there and after a bit of research I decided to go for this formula today which is universal and it will work with many light sensitive materials. If you have any experience with caffeinol you're welcome to share them in the comment section below. Start by dissolving 6 rounded teaspoons of instant coffee in 150 milliliters of water. The warmer the water the faster it will dissolve. I'm not so precise with the temperature at this point as it's very hard to control when you're adding the ingredients. So I rather mix the caffeinol up and get it to desired temperature right before development. Caffeic acid is a phenol which acts as a first developing agent transforming the silver halide to metallic silver. Stir in the coffee until you have no lumps and pieces left. Before we start with washing soda solution I would like to share a quick little tip. If you're only able to get sodium bicarbonate or a so called baking soda just like me don't worry because this is how you can transform it to washing soda. All you have to do is take the baking soda and heat it up to around 200 degrees Celsius or around 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then keep it at that temperature for an hour. The easiest way to do this is to use an oven but I don't have access to one so I use the gas stove. When you start baking soda will be very lumpy but after about 10 minutes it will transform to a loose powder. There is no way of overdoing this process, just make sure to do it in a well ventilated area because of the fumes. You will be able to see how it literally boils and bubbles. I mixed it around for almost an hour and I got a washing soda. Make sure to store it in an airtight container away from the moisture. Let's proceed with the recipe. I dissolve 4 leveled teaspoons of washing soda in 200 milliliters of water. As you can see I do this in a separate cup so I can clearly see when it's dissolved and ready to be combined with coffee. Photographic developing agents require an alkaline solution to activate them but coffee is fairly acidic. Washing soda aka sodium carbonate acts as an accelerator raising the pH to a suitable level for the developing agent to operate. It will take a few minutes of mixing again depending how warm is your water. Now that we have soda and coffee solution, we can combine them together. There is no secrets here, just make sure to mix them together well. And finally it's time to add one level teaspoon of vitamin C. If you have tablets, crush them into powder to make measuring easier. This unpleasantly smelling caffeinol is not ready for use just yet. 
Let it sit for 5 minutes to get rid of all the micro bubbles that can cause imperfect development on your negatives. When you're ready, get the caffeinol to desired temperature and start developing. I'm camping so I don't have access to a proper darkroom, which means I will have to wait until the night falls so I can develop in the trunk of the camper van. And in the meantime you can enjoy this beautiful sunset. I have developed film with caffeinol before but never with dry plates, so this part was very exciting for me as well. I don't know what my processing time will be, so I start my timer and develop by inspection. Temperature through all solutions is 20 degrees Celsius. 30 seconds in and the negative image started to appear. After one minute everything still looked great, but then I started to see the emotion lifting off the edges, but I kept on going and took the plate out of the developer after 4 minutes and 30 seconds. You have to understand that these fine grain emotions are very soft and can start to lift from the edges in these DIY developers, but you shouldn't have any problems with modern films that are very resilient. I washed and fixed it like usual and this is the result. Despite a small emulsion lift off on the edges, I can say that dry plates can be developed in caffeinol, but you have to be extremely on point with the temperatures. It's actually a perfect match with high contrast emulsions as it tames down that contrast a bit, resulting in a negative with wide range of tonalities. And we came to the end. If you found this video useful and would like to give caffeinol a try, please hit that like button. And if there's anything I missed or if you have any tips and tricks to share with us, please leave them in the comment section below so we can all learn from it. That's it, stay safe and catch you guys in the next one when I'm hopefully already in Slovenia. Bye!